Hi there. I've just finished writing and I'm going to upload it to the blog page of the website now. Uh, a guide on um, whether to furnish or leave a property unfurnished before you rent it out. It's one of the questions we get asked quite regularly. Um, yeah, should I or should I not um, furnish a property? Um, I think the first thing to say is it depends. There's no the hard and fast rule. It kind of depends on the property. It depends on the market. Um, the vast majority of the properties that I personally rent out um, aren't, aren't furnished. It might surprise you to know that the difference between um, you know, the, the, the rent achieved for a furnished and unfurnished property isn't that much different. If you can, I wouldn't say get away with, but maybe I just did, um, not furnishing a property, there's a lot of advantage to, uh, advantages to not furnishing it. You know, wear and tear, the cost, the wear and tear. Um, however, if you need to, Furnish it. There are some properties where well, I, I still have some properties that I rent out furnished, and I wanted to buy that property for a very specific reason. And in the only way to rent it out competitively in the marketplace is to furnish it. And then the question comes is how to furnish it, what standard, are there some thoughts that are around you know, insurance? You know, your buy to let insurance will cover the property, but it won't cover the content, so you might need to cover that separately. Uh, it's worth checking. Um, things like fire labels, um, those kinds of things. Inventory, it's really important to have a very good detailed inventory. It'll cost you a little bit extra to have it done, but you need to have it done because if you just spent you know, £10,000 on, on uh, furniture, you need to have it all recorded and categorised and, and, and labelled. So things like that. So hopefully I've uh, you know, laid out the pros, the cons. Um, if you do decide to furnish a property, how you do it, uh, forthelandlords.com got a couple of different uh, furniture supplier partners that we're happy to put our landlords in touch with. So if you're if you're a client already and you're reading this and, and or watching this, then you know, get in touch. We can definitely we can always be part of our service. We have to be able to refurnish a house just just as much as we need to redecorate a house. Sometimes sometimes we need to refurnish it if uh, if the furniture's worn out or whatever for whatever reason. Um, there's a guide here to exactly what fixtures and fittings you do need to provide if you do need to provide them. Um, like I say, some interior design advice there. And uh, we, we, we work, yeah. if you're going to do it, you might as well do it properly. And if it needs furnishing, doing it well will pay dividends. Yeah, you'll get you'll get higher rent. Um, you get it rented quicker, and quite often that's the reason for for, for keeping it like that. So you can you can get the thing moved because you know get, get, getting the, the the property rented two, three, four weeks quicker than the average um, un, 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 or tenant of property that's furnished in not as nice way as you, um, it's going to be, you know, could be a thousand pounds, fifteen hundred pounds a month, couldn't it, in those kind of properties. So it's definitely worth spending the extra two or three hundred pounds here and there to make the place look right so that it rents quicker. That's that's a point in there. Like I say, it covered off insurance, inventory. Length of tenancy, that's a that's an important one as well. So there's some, some sort of tips and thoughts on there as well. And then I've, I've included at the back of that um, a uh, an invitation to a discovery call. So we, we run a discovery call a couple of times a month. Our landlords or people who would like to become landlords join the call. I co-host it, so other people are on the call. It's quite a small call, so everybody is on Zoom. Uh, everybody gets a chance to speak or ask questions. Um, it's not like an intimidate, intimidating big room. Our challenge to you is come along with all your questions and get them answered. So this is a, a small part of the things we talk about, but if you want to talk about, you know, um, singlets, HMOs, buying houses, where to buy them, what to pay, yields, and whatever it is, you know, how to manage your tenancy, um, and even how forthelandlords.com can help you out managing your tenancy or helping you grow your property portfolio. The discovery call is the place to do it and i put that at the end of the blog so uh, i'll tidy all this up now as a few little edits to make uh, the title is unfurnished versus furnished explained um it'll be on the blog section of the website there'll be a link in the video description click on it and that'll take you to the blog there's also a link in the video description to a discovery call that discovery call so you can book yourself on there so hopefully uh, i'll see some of you on a zoom screen soon bye for now